Hi, this is Shane again from TechTube today. Just thought I'd make another video on my Nokia. So I um, just made a video a few minutes ago about YouTube, the new YouTube on the Nokia 63. So I thought I'd make another video on an application I have, which you can get for quite a few um, phones. I'm going to show you on the Nokia 63. It's called Snap2. You can get it on the Avi Store. You can also get it on tons of other phones you don't even need a smartphone that's pretty much the genius thing about snap too you don't need a smartphone but it kind of turns your phone into a smartphone in a way so you open up snap too and you basically have a list of applications within snap too um, facebook twitter news and blogs weather you have my movies the guardian the big picture picasso and flickr and um, then i added these myself these are just with links uh, to YouTube and Last FM, then on actually applications, Google Calendar. You can click Add More, Add More Applications, and then there's a lot of different applications for it. Gawker, Giga Ohm, Gizmodo, Google Calendar, Jezebel, Life Hacker, Live Football Scores, London Pub Guide, London Tube, Mashable, Mobile Crunch, My Movies. There's a fair few. But the main ones that I think we all really care about is Facebook and Twitter. There is Facebook here. Your inbox at the top. Sorry, there's not the focus on this camera isn't great. I'll just turn on the macro so you that will help at all. So we've got the inbox, we got notifications, we've got update status. We can update the status here by clicking update. I just updated the length status, but you get the point. Then you can scroll down, and it doesn't scroll down um, by lines, it scrolls down by item. So it doesn't matter how big someone's post is, you're not going to scroll too far, far scroll too um, short, as it will just go post by post, which I find really, really handy. We can select this post, we can view the comments, view the profile, view the wall, or like the post. Click back. You know, go into the Twitter app. Very, very similar. We got at replies and messages. Update status at the top. And then we can scroll down to everyone's tweets. If we click someone's tweet, we can view that person's profile, reply, send a direct message, retweet, favorite it, add them to a group, show one new message. Auto refreshes just like the website, and so that's the Facebook and Twitter. I suppose I'll just jump into some of the other apps since this video is not too long. There's the reader, the news and, news and blogs rather, which is basically an RSS reader. It has a few default feeds, but you can add your Google Reader feed. You can get all your Google feeds in there. Tarn Freak. And then you can just read the story. Very, very nice. Again, it goes item by item when you're scrolling. Something that I think a lot of apps really need to start doing. Uh, weather. It basically tells you the weather. Pretty basic. You can check 7 day forecast. Satellite images as well. It's interesting. Satellite images. You've got some satellite images. So as you can see... This application is very nice and does quite a lot. Now I am using it on a Nokia E63, which would be considered an entry-level smartphone. Um, but this um, application is actually available for a lot of low-end uh, phones, so you should definitely try it out.